and welcome to more fidget toy mystery boxes unboxing and review just when i think i've seen all fidget toys they come up from here they come up from there oh, I'm trying i'm trying to evade oh, no they're all over the place ah! And these fidget toys were viral on TikTok because none other than Mrs. Bench. So again, these were sent to me by Mrs. Bench. Thank you so much. Not sponsored, not affiliated, but I think Mrs. Bench now is our official supplier. I'll leave all the links down below, but we're going to be looking at three very specific ones. Thanks to Instagram votes, many of you decided that we needed to see the mystery pack for the office slash back to school. So whether you're in an office or a classroom, both are good. We also have the LED mystery mystery pack. Don't worry, I will definitely be putting flashing lights warnings when I do use them. And y'all voted for dinosaurs. Dinosaurs was a really tight race with rainbows, so I'm excited because I love dinosaurs. Like, I have goosebumps already. I love me dinosaurs. That's so cute. Fun fact, I actually wanted to be a paleontologist, but I actually majored in archaeology. Let me know in the comment section below which one are you the most excited for me to unpack. And if you're new here, Look at it. I have a sharp pointy thing. Tis sharp. Click on all notification while you're there, otherwise I may do absolutely nothing. And let us start with back to school or back to the office. Now, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! As someone who was a teacher and I also had my own office, the things I'm going to be looking out for are quietability and fidgetability. Those are two criteria that I've totally made up just now. Because when you're in the office, you don't want to squeeze something and go Imagine you're sitting right across from someone and all they're doing is this because you're being noisy, but you don't hear them because you're in the zone, you're going You don't want that, no. So let's see what comes in this mystery pack for the classroom and also for the office. Let's see what we get inside. So the first thing that caught my attention is this Poppet notebook. I can already tell I have feelings about this, but let's see, maybe I'm wrong. And here it is. This is absolutely adorable in terms of colors. I love it. The texture, just touching it feels wonderful. However, I want to know if it makes noise. Let's look at it first this way. Oh, spiral bound. Okay. I love spiral bound books simply because you can actually turn your page. Oh, there's a plastic covering. Hang on. It's white. Let's put our trusty felt right here. So we have a plastic covering here and you can actually write on this flat. So the fidget toy doesn't actually get in the way. That is absolutely phenomenal. Oops, I can't bet the pages. You saw nothing. And again, you have the pages. Can you write on the other side? And the answer is yes. A little bit of bumpiness on this side. The plastic should be a little thicker, but yeah, you do feel the bumps and lumps over here. So you would only have to write on one side, which is the right side. But there are quite a few pages. So that's definitely going to keep you good for, I would say a semester or even note taking in a few meetings. And then we have the poppets. Let's see how that works. And let's put it down. Okay, that is quiet a little bit. Oh, on this side it's noisy and then it's quiet. That is so weird. So these are quiet up until the last ones. Listen, noisy, quiet. Okay, I don't know why. And what if we turn it on the other side? Is it quiet or noisy? A little noisy. But you know what? Not more noisy than tappy 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 on keyboards. So this could actually pass if you're in a room that actually has computers. So it's not that much more disruptive. I actually feel like these are softer than actual keyboards. So this one definitely surprises me because quiet on one side. You can't hear anything. Listen, this is this is me in real time. Except for the last one. Oh, only the top ones? Yeah. Only these three, only these three make noise. But then you turn it around and they do pop. But again, it's a very soft pop. So I'm gonna say for the classroom or for the office, this is probably going to get a solid 7.5. It loses points because the functionality of writing on the other side is kind of lost. But otherwise, I love the colors too. Next, what are you? You are Stretchy Dough Ball, a fun sensory toy for stress relief. Oh, you definitely gonna need that in the office meetings.
So we've done this one before if I'm not mistaken and it's kind of like clay on the inside. You can see when you stretch it, there's like a clay piece in there and it's quiet. It's quiet. A little bit. Of course you can make it noisy if you want or you could just kind of Hmm. I feel like the extra air pocket over here is what's making all the noise. Otherwise, the clay on the inside, listen. Quiet. It does have some resistance, so if you have any kind of chronic conditions or if your joints hurt, it might be a little difficult to use long term. But otherwise, it is pretty quiet. I don't see myself using it as much as the poppet, though. Does it stretch much? Well, I don't want to pull it more than that. This is the furthest it'll stretch. And yeah, it's a little rough on the joints, so I'm going to give this maybe a five. Just because it really is hard to actually manoeuvriate. For little hands especially, it might be harder. But for someone who has bigger hands, yeah, if you have bigger joint issues, probably not. Then, Tangle. Oh, I love these. We've seen Tangles in previous videos, but, 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 for those of you who don't know... Oh my god, open. <laughs> These things are absolutely phenomenal. It's like, you know, from a long time ago where you had phones with cords, and if you're talking on the phone, you twirl the cord of the phone because it's it was fidgetoy-esque. This is basically it. Those tangles are basically the same feeling because you can just twist and then untangle and then twist, and it's just so fun to play with. It's quiet, it's portable, you can keep this in your pocket. I love this. Actually, you can't keep something like this in your pocket, but you could take it with you in your backpack. This, not really in your pocket I would probably sit on it and it has like this balloon thing I'm worried might pop at some point but this one oh baby look at how pretty you are not just are you pretty but you're quiet here listen and this is in a quiet room okay so it is pretty quiet the playability is absolutely phenomenal I have one Pat has one we all have one in this house actually Pat stole two of mine so I have one left for me which I think he took also so I'm not gonna share this one this one for me is a 10 on 10 and then we have oh no oh no no <laughs> Okay, listen, listen. When it comes to chewing fidget toys, I am not the best person to chew them because this is what happens. Okay. Oh, okay, there's... No. I have a gag reflex that is very, um, very prone to not liking putting things in my mouth. However, as pencil toppers, I feel like if you do like to chew on the top of your pencils, these are probably great, especially if you have a deadline coming up and you're chewing on things. Better to chew on something that should be chewed on. So, I can't rate this. Quality is good, so I'm just gonna say that they are there. They do exist for those of you who want them as pen or pencil toppers. What is this? Play Pad Pal. Sensory toy stress relief. Push and pop. What is that? What is that? Is it just a poppet? We have Teddy. We have Arfy, Chompy, Chilly Willy, soft, flexible, and washable. And it seems to be, let's see, clip, clip them on. Oh, so they're for your bag or your backpack. Okay. For those of you wondering, yes, my floor is an absolute mess after every video. All right, so here it is. It comes with a little clip. Okay, so the clip you can put on your bag, your backpack, your purse, whatever you want. Just be very careful. The clip doesn't seem to be that strong. So if anything pulls on it, it could come off. So I would recommend if you have a metallic one to just use that one instead. But otherwise, this one's really soft and it's a puppy. And I guess you can use it on your way. So if you're taking any kind of public transit, yeah, this definitely works. Let's hear that again. So that felt really nice. It has a nice push and then the pop. Very nice. I wouldn't say this is for the office or the classroom per se, but definitely for the public transit that you would use to get where you need to go. So I'm gonna give this, as any pop it would normally get, a seven. And then here I feel two small items. Oh, baby. Oh, this here is one of my first loves ever. I have one of these in every single bag, every single pocket that I could possibly own. This gear turny thing is so quiet and it's so portable 
portable. It's kind of like if you had coins in your pocket and you're just kind of flipping the coins. Or in my case, sometimes I even had tissue in my pockets. So I would just start ripping it with the, my fingers with one hand in my pocket. That's just how I fidget. And this here is the exact same motion. Look how quiet it is. Quiet. It's so quiet. And it's portable. It's wonderful. It does. You can't get hurt when you're flipping. This for me is a 10 on 10. Whether it's your office, classroom, public transit, standing waiting for someone, uh, having lunch one hand and fidgeting with the other. Absolutely phenomenal. Super stress relief. 10 on 10 for me for this one. And then this one depends on the quality. These are peas in a pod. If they're too hard to push, it hurts your joints, but okay. Very soft to push. And if you're wondering, the character in the middle here is based on a Japanese character called Mameshiba, which has its own little cartoons. Again, it comes with a strap so you can put it on your bag, your backpack, your purse. Did I say backpack? Your backpack. Your backpack. <laughs> English, cooperate with me, please. And the vinyl here is really soft. It's a very, very soft plastic. So it doesn't hurt at all. And it is quiet. And it's satisfying pushing something in and out nonstop. So this one for me, because of the softness, I'm going to give this, I would say an 8. 8 on 10. Very soft. Now let's take a look at... Rawr! Dinosaur bundle. I can already see there's a T-Rex, so I, I want to I know what's in there. Remember, these are mystery boxes, so you can probably get the same items or different ones. Unless you know you want something specific, then focus on ordering that one only. Okay, we're gonna start with you. We got, oh, 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 hang on, I changed my mind. We're starting with the egg. Let's get our felt over here and let's zoom you grains closer. Look at this egg. I absolutely love the little details. <gasps> Oh, this is very similar to this one over here, except it doesn't have the resistance that you would have on your joints for that one. And this one's noisier. Whereas this one here, the egg, is quiet. I feel like this could have been added to the back to school bundle just because it is quiet. It's portable. It feels nice. It has like this cloud type texture, not on the inside, but I mean the outside. The outside is very pleasant to kind of smush. Oh gosh, I really like this. Oh gosh, the dinosaur egg. Okay, I'm gonna give this dinosaur egg a 7.8. Remember, 7 for me is a good thing, okay? 7.8 is a good thing. I'm just a very harsh critic. Okay, what the heck? I just <laughs> turned the lights off and the dinosaur egg is actually glow in the dark. I don't know if you can see it on the face camera, but the exposure is set much higher on this camera down here. So yeah, it's it's kind of glow in the dark, but okay, let's, let's move on to the next one. And now for the T-Rex that I've wanted, that I've been eyeballing since I saw it. This is an actual 3D figure. Here is the T-Rex in its full glory. Look at it. It's an actual 3D figure. It's not a flat kind of puppet. Let's see how it does. Okay, nice and quiet. This could also have worked for the school bundle or the office bundle. Let's go ahead and do the, the squeezing. This is going to be so satisfying. I love you so much. Quiet again. Kind of reminds me of Pepsi colors. Or is that Coke? No, that's Pepsi, right? Or Coke. Editor, it's Pepsi or Coke. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and squeeze. Oh my God. This for me, Mwah. love it. I probably shouldn't have kissed it, but I love this. Oh gosh. I'm gonna give this a solid nine on 10. Does it stand? No, it actually stands. Oh my God, it stands on its feet and it can stand on its tail, whichever you want. Oh, this in itself is already a fidget toy. You could just rock it or drop it, whichever you kind of want to see. So I'm not doing And then this little thing also caught my attention. Oh, I know what you want. What's this? It's my desk fluff. Also for a charm for your bag. Oh, this is actually more solid as a charm and it's going to go bleh probably from the mouth. Yep, bleh. Oh, it's a baby bleh. Very little, very, very, very little bleh. What kind of glitter do we have? We have holographic glitter on the inside. That is already pretty mesmerizing. Look at that. Let's see the swirls go round and round. Very nice. It's very normal, very tiny. I feel like something like this is pretty average. So we're gonna give this a 6.5. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just average. Now I'm not sure what this is. Oh, oh, I know what this is. I was like, how is this dinosaur related? You'll see. Just 
Just wait for it. So we have a dinosaur egg, and the dinosaur is on the inside, and it'll pop right, I don't know which direction it's gonna pop up, but there we go. Oh, there you go! A cute little Godzilla. Oh, I love it. Very noisy. So you can be very obnoxious. Here it is on side view, cute. Here it is from the back, other side. <laughs> yeah, very obnoxious. Okay, so it's kind of like the peas in a pot. So it'll get the same rating. But it is good quality and I really like it. The thickness of the outside of the egg really does show that it's not flimsy. Because I've received some of these from other places that were so flimsy and just unpleasant. This one's nice, right? Oh, don't, don't go away, don't go away, we're not... Okay, I guess this conversation's over with it. And then, what are these? I forget the name of these. If you remember what these are called, let me know. I don't think they're called monkey noodles. I've seen them in unicorn form, and I've seen them in, I think, dog or cat form. No way! We have different dinosaurs? That's cute. That is absolutely adorable. No. Okay, so for these, let me show you up here. They're pretty stretchy, so if you like to stretch things, you can stretch them. But what I like to do, for some reason, is knot them. I love to put knots in them because they come out pretty easy. So if you just want to unknot, you could just, you know, pull, pull them. It already came out. And then the second knot, voila, and here it goes. I don't think these are monkey noodles. And they're pretty textured too. So you can see, if you don't want to do anything and you just want something for the texture, look at it here. It has soft little bristle-like textures. I love that. Sometimes these things are too hard in terms of texture, but this really feels extremely silky. I love the texture on these. Yeah, there's, there's just so much you can fidget with them and they're quiet. These could also go in kind of like back to office if you like colors, back to school, back to anything. They're quiet. They're the, one of the quiet quietest things that you can also own so and they're portable since you can shove them into your pocket like a handful a fistful of dinosaurs <laughs> i'm gonna give these probably a nine on ten and our last dino before we dive into the ones that actually do light up which i'm really curious about is oh gosh hang on oh gosh this this reminds me of cartoons from the 80s it looks so cute okay quiet quiet and yeah, and many of you keep telling me these are not poppets. These are called simple dimples, but if there's two of them, are they double dimples? I only have one and a half. Look. Where's my half? There's one. One dimple. My other half is somewhere over there. <laughs> but yeah, these are simple dimples, and the design is on one side. Nothing special. Design's really cute. The quality of the plastic absolutely adorable but remember since these are simple dimples you can also make them just stay, stay quiet on your desk so you could just kind of press them like little buttons you don't need to do pops and pushes and noise from the other side so this one's pretty cute it does come with its own strap but like every little pimple dimple to pop it do you think <laughs> they're not pimple simple simple did i say simple pimple or simple dimple Pimple dimple again baseline of seven for me. Here is the LED mystery package Now I don't know how these are going to light up in all the light But we're gonna do them with the lights on and then the lights off. So let's let's explore So don't worry, if there's any kind of flashing light, we will let you know. Now, first things first, these are my favorites ever. I love the wee wee wee. Oh yeah. I love the crunchiness of this, but it seems like, okay, we can activate the lights by pulling the tab for the lights and batteries on. I don't know if you have to press this button. Ah, yes. So here we have the flashing lights while the lights are off. I wonder if we press it again. Oh, different strobes. Oh, just lights on and off. Okay, so we're gonna try this in the dark now. And let's push the button to turn it on. It's quite dark, so I can't really see. Holy shrimp, that is quite, that's, I don't, can you see my face? I don't think you could see my face. You could just see like the glowy thing move. Let's stretch. Oh, it stopped. Hang on, did I break it? Did I break it, did, 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 did? There you go, holy shrimp. That is quite red. So you can do little moves. If you wanna do little videos like, ooh, look at me, and I'm flying. <laughs> What's the other one? Okay, just light, just light. It's a little intense, I have to say. It doesn't really offer that much. I kind of, 
I kind of liked it better when it was flashing with the lights on. Not so much with the lights off, but I could see the fun of it with the lights off. So I'm gonna give this a seven. The next one that I'm curious about with lighting up is this one, because these Orbeez balls are really fun. But I'm guessing the activation is when you squeeze? Oh, yes. I love these Orbeez balls. Oh, there you go. Okay. I do feel a hard plastic right here, so my guess is a tap. Yes? No? Hang on, we're gonna figure it out. Do we shake it? Ah, oh, I shake it. Okay, so this flashing light is kind of like the, the police car's wee 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 kind of thing. Look, we'll just put our own. Hang on, we shake it. We're gonna put our own sound effects. All right, time to turn the lights off. All right, I'm gonna shake it in the police thing at night. Shake it. Shake it. There you go. Yep, that is definitely that is definitely not okay to have in your car at night. <laughs> Because you can definitely mislead people. It is very shiny. Holy shrimp. Let's see. Let me shake it again and let's fidget with it. Let's see if it actually offers anything special. Okay, my camera does not want to focus. Camera, please. Yeah, my camera's having a hard time. Yep. Nope. <laughs> okay, so here's my camera focused and this is what it looks like. Kind of cool, but the color choices are definitely a little too reminiscent of a cop car. So I'm going to give this mm, probably a 6.7. Oh my God, what is that? Is that a caterpillar? Oh, it's already flashing. Okay. Okay, now, I can see this as having a, quite the playability because there are suction cups at the bottom. We know how I feel about suction cups. I love them. A lot. It's just putting them on a desk and then pulling it. Oh, yes. I love it. I, oh, oh, oh. Did you see that? Hang on. You squeeze in the face and the eyes go bleh. <laughs> So the eyes do pop out. I'm trying to hide the flashing of the lights until we get there. And then you also have the little poppets that you can push in. Look at that. And it still is flashing. So I don't know if it bothers anyone with the light on, but the flashing seems like it's going to be pretty intense with the lights off. So let's go ahead and press. Oh, this is phenomenal. Okay, let's see what you look like with the lights absolutely turned off. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Hang on, let's let's just peel it off one more time. Listen to the entire thing. Yes. And our little caterpillar. Just have to touch it. There you go. Oh, that one's pretty. The colors are, are really, really pretty. But it, Oh, there you go. Colors are really pretty for this one. I like it. It's very rainbow-esque. I'm not sure if it shows through. But this one's nice. I like that one. Yeah, this one's really fun for me. I'm still going to give this a pretty high rating because of just the amount of colors they're on. I don't, I really hope you can see this, but it's not just two intense colors. I think it's because of the outside. So I'm going to give it an eight on 10. This one here is called Bubble Fidget Lead, well, LED light toy. What is that? Soft silicone hat toy food grade, which means you can, you can, you can, you can chew on it if it's food grade, I'm assuming. Battery removable and replaceable. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. A little hat. I guess we press on it. Oh, you have to pull it out. Okay. So we pull it out first and we turn it on. Is that it? Oh, okay. We have to pull this tab. And here goes the lights. All right, so we're gonna shove it back in here. And I'm guessing with the lights, okay, same thing. You can have different strobes. Where's the button? Where'd the button go? And there you go, just the light and there. I'm not too crazy about this one. It feels like it's trying to be too much at the same time because they're kind of using it as a nightlight. You can see Bebe in the back here. I'm not sure, I don't, I don't think, yeah, I don't, I don't like the, I don't like this one. It does give good pops though. So I feel like they're just trying to put too much in this. Like either make it a light up pop it, but not a night light. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, but let's see what it looks like in the dark. And the night light. Oh, holy shrimp. Oh my God. I don't, I don't think you can see my face though. Once upon a time, there was a creepy crafter. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, that is way too intense. I yeah, this is it's a, it's a cool night light though But I don't see the point of it being a fidget toy with flashing lights I wish some of them weren't even flashing I wish some of them were just light up which would be a cool idea and it turns off on its own So it really can't be used as a night light three on ten for me and then we have a pocket keyboard What? Okay, I've never tried this one before. What is that? Oh Okay <gasps> This sounds like my keyboard. Okay, I like that. 
This one's quieter, so if you want to fidget quieter, it's good. But you can't turn the lights off. This one is only lights on. It's obnoxious. This is so perfect. I love you. Oh, you can have both at the same time. Although it feels better with just one at a time. Okay, let's try these. Let's try this one here in the dark as well. Let's see our keyboard. Oh, that is cool. The light in itself for this one is definitely, definitely cool by itself. I love that. Let's go with blue. Oh, yes. And let's do both. No. Oh, you can take some amazing photography with this. No way. If you wanted to take pictures in the dark and have these lights kind of around, that is neat. I love that. I'm definitely keeping this for myself. And so let me know which one of the bundles was your favorite. I would have to say it's a mix. I feel like a mixture of either of them would go well. I really like this one. I wonder if they have non light up of this one for those who don't want the light up feature. This caterpillar is phenomenal. But I also like the T-Rex. Very phenomenal. Phenomenal is the word of the day. Today's episode is brought to you by the word phenomenal. If you want to see another phenomenal video, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video that you may have missed or a live stream, make sure you check over here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.